Let's say you have a tram system a, and you have a custom avenue with a tram track in the middle and you want to connect it to a main avenue or, or boulevard which has also tram tracks but you have you don't really have enough space and you want that tram to terminate here. Hi, my name is Onsa and welcome back to the first episode or well this is going to be like a mini series of different tutorials where I'll be explaining some of the city building concepts that I use and some small tutorials on how to build some buildings and yeah basically just how to build your city so we want to have a ending loop from this and we we just want to complete the line but yeah we have this kind of end here because I was too lazy to build something there and it was the quickest but we want to have something connected so how do you do it well step one is you I would recommend using elite tram tracks but you can do it with vanilla assets if you want to but I just like custom assets more so step one is to find the tracks you want to use make sure those are one way one line tram only and you connect it like this. Now it's looking kind of ugly. And also the nodes got messed up again. Yeah. So. Snap to the node. Yeah, something like that. And you can connect it something like this. Now it doesn't look that great. So step one is to use node controller and to mess with corner offsets. And make something like this. So you basically mess with the corner offsets of these tracks. You can bring them closer and you can change the curve using move, move it. Basically change it so it looks like, so it doesn't look terrible. What doesn't count as terrible? is up to you so now we have something like this and we have now there's a big mess of tracks so first step is to eliminate this so you don't have trams turning around in here it kind of messes up the AI and then you have to have it some in a way that is similar to this where the tracks Yeah, probably something like this, where the tracks give you the ability to go to the depot, but it's tougher to turn around. And now you just have to mess around. You can probably have these roads like almost merged. It, it makes it look like a one intersection and not like a bunch of smaller intersections but it's kind of complex also it messes with the tracks you can also change the shift of the probably minus three and three 
so that way the trams don't turn that extremely and then you just place the line well this stop spacing is kinda weird I would recommend going with something like there's two stops on the end of the line and then like two to five like blocks between them do not stop at every block that's kind of wasteful and then you select types I you can pick any vehicles and the technique I use is you take the number of stops and divide it by two so now if we wait we can in the meantime maybe mess with this node so it yeah this is kind of difficult to do because it requires a lot of messing around with node controller and when you really mess that up then it looks really bad and also you can probably remove pedestrian crossings and now are the trams coming yes they are also try putting stops behind the intersections so when trams stop you don't clog up the intersection and now it works you can then detail it with however you want for example with trees which is one of the coolest ways to decorate it and there's a really a lot of trees in the game especially if you use Steam Workshop so yeah that's basically it if you enjoyed this video give it a like if you really enjoyed it subscribe and I'll be seeing you when I will release another tutorial like this I uh, by the way thank you for 70 subscribers and also some news I will take a small break from YouTube it's not that uploads will cease completely Up uploads will, will be less frequent and more when I have time and I want to so yeah like subscribe comment share and yeah see you later